Hey everyone, Super Shadix Boom here with a review of Wave 4 of Jack Specific Sonic the Hedgehog 2.5 inch line. I did see Super Sonic at the store and I wanted to pick him up to see if there's any differences, but upon further notice, yeah, this figure is still trash. Oh my stars, we gotta take some time to appreciate this beautiful new packaging. The boxes used for the 30th anniversary look absolutely stellar. We got that nice new 30th anniversary or Encyclopedia render, whatever you want to call it. The name tag up front was changed to an all white design with the regular Sonic the Hedgehog logo and the character's name with the gold bar across. All throughout the box, I'm not sure if I'm picking these up, but there's a bunch of screenshots scattered all throughout the box to decorate it, and it looks fantastic. We got the rest of the figures showcased at the bottom of the box. Ooh, he the 30th anniversary logo looking so beautiful on this box too. I love it. With packaging this beautiful, it should have your utmost respect and deserves the most graceful of unboxings. So here's the figures out of the packaging. Out of the five, only two of these are brand new. Starting off with the brand new Shrugging Sonic, the painting and sculpting on this figure is fantastic. There's not a single quality control error on mine, and Jax is really out here making a figure based off of the iconic Shrugging Sonic art. To my knowledge, this figure seems to be about 50% new, 50% variant. The body and the lower half, aka just the legs, seem to be reused from other previous Sonic figures. The head sculpt as well seems to be very similar to the rest of the Sonic figures, it probably is the same. The only difference of course being the face. It may appear that the eyelid is just painted on, but it was actually sculpted onto the half of the left eye. You can actually see the separation between the eyeball and the eyelid. <laughs> the pupil is actually like seeping into the eyelid. It's really freaking looking to look at. So just always look at the front of the figure. He's also looking to the left. They also gave this figure a new black mouth instead of the old red mouth, which I think was a very nice touch. The arms are also different, of course. The elbows are bent at 90 degrees and so are the wrists. His arms also look buffer to me, like he's been doing push-ups or something. I have to acknowledge this since I love it so much, they finally gave the figure widespread open palms again. Despite being made to be put in this specific pose, he still comes with all the articulation that the 2.5 inch figures include, such as the swivel at the head, universal joints in the shoulders, and universal joints in the thighs. Moving on to silver, and the painting and sculpting on this figure is amazing. I'm calling it now, this is by far the best 2.5 inch figure to date. He's easily up there alongside the goats. The marijuana leaf on his head is very accurate and looks spectacular. I really like his very stern expression and his fluffy chest fur. The hand sculpts are dynamic and awesome looking. They even went through the effort to include those little circles on his hands, even on the fisted hand. He has some of the best legs and balance of any Jax figure I've seen. He stands perfectly. It's probably because he has these new and improved thicker legs. The sheet detailing is nice, but they didn't include anything on the bottom. You could always panel line it yourself. This figure seems to be inspired by TSR, which I'm okay with since I love the renders from that game. And that's pretty much it for this wave. Only two new figures. And one of them is just a variant of Sonic. A really cool variant, I love it a lot, but just one new figure. I don't mind it at all really since these two are very well made and excellently executed. With Silver single-handedly carrying this wave, it's awesome to have miniature team hedgehogs as well. Silver is definitely a must pick up, but I feel he's going to be the hardest to get since most cases only come with one silver and like 20 shrugging sonics and shrugging sonic seems to be very common which i am glad because this is an awesome variant so yeah this wave is honestly lacking but silver is such a stellar release and an excellent addition to the cast i love it i recommend going for both of them and if you don't have shadow he's also released in this wave in the gorgeous new 30th anniversary packaging if you don't have shadow please get him he's amazing so that was my review of wave 4 of jack specific sonic the hedgehog 2.5 5 inch line. And what are your thoughts on 2.5 inch silver and shrugging Sonic? I'd love to know. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Thanks for watching.